I'm going to share with you five ways to save money on camera equipment without compromising on quality, because we all know camera gear is expensive and addictive. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, hopefully these tips will help you get the most out of your budget and help you create amazing videos and take awesome photos. For me, the most important tip I can give you is making sure that you can afford the camera and accessories that you want, because sometimes you've already got access to an awesome content creating machine, and that's your smartphone. You don't always need the latest and greatest gear to make great content. There are lots of ways to improvise without spending. You can use natural light, lamps or flashlights as your lighting sources. You can use headphones, earbuds or your phone's mic as your audio recorder. You can use books, boxes or containers as your stabilizers or tripods. You can use free software like iMovie or DaVinci Resolve as your video editor. So using what you can can save you a lot of money while also contributing to help you improve your skills and creativity. And most of the time you don't need a fancy camera to make great videos when you've got your smartphone. Phones today have powerful cameras that can shoot in 4K, in slow motion, do time lapse and so much more. And while you're using your phone, you can still be filming on professional like apps like Filming Pro and editing on mobile devices like LumaFusion and still enhance your video quality and editing options. Save money on camera equipment by investing in the essentials. Instead of buying a lot of unnecessary or low quality gear that you may end up buying replacements for all those in the future, we've all done it, focus on saving your money and doing your own research by reading reviews, watching YouTube videos on that high quality camera or lens that you're thinking of getting, just so you can make an informed decision about getting something that will last you a long time and make a big difference rather than that snap decision on something that's not quite as good as the thing that you want but you'll definitely want to upgrade to in the future. For example, invest in a good camera body that suits your needs and style, invest in a good lens that covers a wide range of focal lengths and apertures, invest in a good microphone that captures clear and crisp sound, invest in a good light that provides soft and even illumination. And investing in those essentials can save you money in the long term and still help you achieve professional results. Another way to save money on camera equipment is to look for deals and discounts. You can always find great deals and discounts on those equipment during those peak sales events like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Prime Day and Boxing Day, and even at other times throughout the year. And while using coupons, promo codes, cashback apps or loyalty programs from various retailers and brands, that's also another good way to save money. You know those newsletters, blogs, podcasts or YouTube channels that you subscribe to? You know, the ones that share the latest news and reviews on camera gear and accessory, you'll often find that they offer discounts on those products too. Now, one of the easiest ways to save money on camera equipment is to buy used or refurbished gear from reputable sellers. You can find deals on used cameras, lenses, tripods, lights, and microphones on sites like eBay and Amazon. But just make sure if you do choose that option that you are carefully reading the item description and seller history before you buy anything, just to make sure you're getting exactly what you want and it's in the right condition. And if you have now upgraded your gear, that means that you'll probably have some surplus gear. Then one of the best ways to save money on new gear and make money on your existing gear is to sell or trade your old gear that you no longer need or use. And just like the last tip, you can sell your gear online at sites like eBay and get some cash back that you can use and put it towards buying new gear. Or you can just hoard all your gear and never let go of anything because you have an emotional attachment to every piece of equipment. So there are my five ways to save money on camera equipment. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And also let me know in the comments below what are some of your tips and tricks to save money on camera equipment? I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.